Doesn't. <laughs> Greetings fellow Digitamers, my name is Alex, I'm the Knight of Digidestined and today we are checking out the Digimon Capsule Mascot version 6 collection. For anyone who doesn't know, the Digimon Capsule Mascots are a series of minifigures released in Japan and they're available in Gashapon machines. These obviously come in little capsules, hence the name Capsule Mascot, but the ones I've ordered today didn't come in the capsules, probably for shipping purposes or whatever. So, let's do this. Right, and this will show you each Digimon available in this particular set. So we've got Centaurimon, Unimon, Dromojomon, Gyromon, and Andromon. So number one is Centaurimon, everyone's favorite man horse. He requires some assembly. Push him together. That was satisfying. <laughs> And yet this dude looks ace. A lot bigger than I was expecting him to be. Looks really cool. Really good detail for a figure of its size. Feels really solid, no flimsy plastic like we've had in some of the previous ones. Okay, so maybe with a bit of play, I'll get him to somehow stand up like this. Might be a case of bending his back leg or something. But the magic of these capsule mascots is that they're all 3D renders of their original artwork which is this so when you compare the two you can see that that's pretty accurate and that's pretty impressive too so yeah that's the magic of these little figures and Centaramon very impressed with onwards and upwards next along zero two Unimon some assembly required again and again quite a bit bigger than I was expecting him to be so here he is my little pony and uh, not one but two Two wings. Here he is with his original artwork, and again captured the pose brilliantly. He's he's coloured nicely, well detailed, feels really solid. So another quality figure. Ace, 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 ace. Next up, zero three Drimojimon. Love this little dude. He made an appearance, well, he's been in pretty much every season of Digimon, but my most memorable appearance of Jumojimon is actually in Digimon Data Squad. He realises in the human world, and he just gets in the wrong crowd, and uh, he ends up kind of being conned into robbing a bank. But he wasn't really his fault. The guy just had a really big heart and was excited to have some human friends. So, yeah, feel sorry for that dude. So, no assembly required on this guy. He's one solid piece. And his detailing is awesome. His eyes, his cute little moustache thing, his teeth and his claws all look ace. One slight thing, and I think it's down to the packaging rather than build quality, is the tip of his drill is a little bit bent, but I'm convinced that I can bend, straighten that out. And again, that's probably down to packaging rather than, you know, the actual quality. He stands really small compared to the other two, but these are minifigures, so what do you expect? So, ace. So, on to the Ultimates. We get two Ultimates in this set. We get Gyromon and Andromon. And Zero Four is everyone's favourite netkeeper, Gyromon. So, Gyromon is a chainsaw and bomb wielding maniac. Kind of fierce, kind of savage, very aggressive, and kind of badass as small, circular little dudes go. Again, the detail on this is very impressive for a figure of its size. The paint job is brilliant. And he does come with a stand because obviously Jaramon is kind of a floating ball thing. But my issue with the stands in these capsule mascots is that they're this solid white and it's really distracting, especially when we put him in his stand. I mean, the stand is kind of bigger than the figure itself. I feel like that kind of takes away from the figure a little bit. Maybe if these stands had been clear, it would have been less distracting. All in all, still really love this dude though. He still looks really cool. And on to the final man, the boss man, Andromon. All one solid piece. The plastic again feels very firm, unlike some of the flimsier ones in the previous lines. Detailing looks awesome for a figure of its size. I mean, you know, they've done their best attempt at putting his eyes and his mouth on. Really, you have to see this for yourself, just how tiny it is. So this is very impressive. Again, they've matched his artwork perfectly. 
So if you're interested in picking these up and starting your own collection, I found these on eBay uh, just because it was the easiest and simplest way to get them. They are available on other websites, but they're websites I'm not that familiar with. eBay is just kind of it's pretty straightforward. Um, this set cost me like 17 quid with shipping from Japan. It worked out like 21 quid and each set that I've bought so far has all been around 20 pound and yes they're mini figures but these are just so special to me because it's just nostalgia overload the way they've captured all the original artwork is absolutely phenomenal the way they stand next to the the v-pets you know that they're based on again is just perfect and all together they all just look ace they might be a little bit pricey for some people you know just getting them out here i mean in japan it's they're very, they're really really cheap but you know actually finding someone that's prepared to sell you a full set um, and ship them over here and stuff like that is the challenging part but they're pretty much always on eBay especially the more recent sets so yeah so thanks so much for watching thanks for being ace keep rocking you're all the greatest from me and the boys peace out